Hey everybody, this is Stellar Firefly and this is a supplementary video to my Installing DZ AI video. Here we'll be talking about how to customize DZ AI to your liking. If you haven't yet installed DZ AI onto your DZ server, then feel free to check out my Installing DZ AI video tutorial. This video is for those of you who have already installed DZ AI and maybe played around with it a bit, but then you thought that maybe the AI bandits were a bit too easy, or maybe you thought that they were freaking cheating aimbot bastards, or maybe you just want to know how to enable the more advanced features such as random vehicle and helicopter patrols. The steps we'll be describing here are fairly generic so that they'll work with just about any DZ server that has DZ AI already installed. The only specific steps we'll follow here are how to access the configuration file, which will be specific to GTX Gaming DayZ servers. But as long as you know how to get to and edit the files that we'll mention, then you should have no problem following the rest of this video. All we'll really be doing is editing these text configuration files. The file in which we are interested in is dzai underscore config.sqf, and it's located in our server.pbo file, so once again, let's extract it. For our GTX Gaming server, we'll just go into our TC Admin Control Panel and click on the Extract PBO button, then press OK when it asks if we'd like to execute the script. Wait until it says it's safe to close the window, and then close the window. The file is located in the DZAI init directory, so we'll click on the file manager and navigate into Archives, at daisy underscore epic underscore server, add-ons, DZAI, in it. And there's our dzai underscore config.sqf file. Just click on the pencil icon across from it to open it in the text editor. Now there's a lot of stuff that can be configured and customized within dzai, and we're not going to cover absolutely all of it in this video tutorial. We will, however, cover a lot of the really major features, and especially those that most server admins are interested in adding to their servers. But some things we'll just gloss over or not even mention at all, especially those not specific to modes and maps unavailable on GTX Gaming DayZ servers. If you really want to get into the details of DZAI customization, then check out its official thread in the Open DayZ forums at opendaisy.net slash forums slash DZAI. Alright, let's get started. Near the very top of the dzai underscore config.sqf file, one of the big sections you'll notice has to do with specifying a particular mod. But as you may have noticed if you followed my dzai installation tutorial, it seems to have worked just fine even though its mod name was set to blank, here where it says dzai underscore mod name to an empty string. But just like it says at the comment above the line, dzai is actually smart enough to detect several popular DayZ mods, and that includes both Epic and Overwatch. So just leave this alone and let it auto-detect, unless you're manually installing a mod or map that's not provided by GTX Gaming, i.e. something other than Epic or Overwatch. The sections below this are where we start to get into those settings in which most server admins are interested. This first one deals with the health system and blood levels. This first setting, dzai underscore use health system, if set to true, makes AI bandits use a health system similar to players, i.e. 12,000 blood for full health. Or if set to false, AI bandits will use the default Arma 2 health and damage system, whatever that is. Most servers will just leave this enabled to make AI bandits behave more similarly to player bandits, but then possibly adjust the next few values to suit their tastes. This next setting, dzai underscore unit blood level, determines how much health a newly spawned bandit may have. The first number is the minimum and the second number is the maximum. So for example, if you think that it'd be more realistic if bandits started off with close to two-thirds health instead, then you can set these values to 8,000 comma 12,000. These third and fourth values have to do with AI bandit self-healing, so yeah, they can essentially self-administer blood transfusions. DZAI underscore unit heal amount is the blood amount that is healed if they do heal themselves, which defaults to 6,000, or half of full health. But some servers, especially those that have enabled self-transfusion for players, like to adjust this so that bandit self-healing behaves exactly like player self-healing. DZAI underscore low blood level determines when AI bandits may try to heal themselves. If their blood drops below this level, and they can find some decent cover, then they may try to self-heal. If dzai underscore find killer is enabled and you kill one bandit in a group, then the others will try to hunt you down. It's a kind of cool revenge feature, but some people think that it may make AI focus on one player and become blind to other players. But then other people think that real players act like this sometimes too, so it's totally up to you if you want to keep this feature enabled or not. 
DZAI underscore temp NVGs are kind of a mini cheating mode for AI bandits that gives them free night vision if they spawn at night and have gear above a certain weapon grade. Most admins leave this disabled, unless they just think that AI during the night are just way too easy. DZAI underscore humanity gain is pretty self-explanatory. If you want AI bandit kills to award some humanity, then set that value here. It makes it slightly unfair to bandit players, though, so most servers would just leave this at zero or set it to some fairly small value. DZAI underscore radio messages will show text for players who have a radio and are being specifically targeted by AI bandits. It's not very reliable for gameplay purposes because AI bandits don't always focus on a single player, but it's still a cool feature to have for those occasional warnings. DZAI underscore last man standing is an interesting feature where if all but a single bandit of a group is killed off, the last bandit remaining has slightly boosted skills. Interesting, but most admins just leave it turned off. This whole next section has to do with the DZAI client-side add-on, which we won't be covering in this video tutorial. Not many servers use it because it requires all players to install an additional DZAI client folder to their local .pbo files, and it's not a standalone mod or anything that the popular launchers like Daisy Commander or Daisy Launcher can auto-detect. And now we get to those settings that most server admins are probably wanting to customize the first time they look into customizing DZAI. First, the static AI spawn settings. Just briefly, for those of you who are unclear about it, DZAI supports both static and dynamic AI spawns. Static spawns, which are configured here, are AI bandit groups that are associated with a particular location, usually cities, towns, airfields, military bases, things like that. This ensures that, for example, a city like Chernogorsk has a good chance of having one or more bandit groups within it, instead of only spawning bandits randomly out in the wilderness. You can disable static AI spawns by setting DZAI underscore static AI to false, but really, nobody ever does that. But what many server admins adjust are these, the DZAI underscore respawn time min and DZAI underscore respawn time max values. These values define how often static AI will respawn in seconds, with the default minimum and maximum values set at 5 and 10 minutes, respectively. These defaults are pretty good for moderately populated servers, but some lower pop servers, or servers who like to focus more on player bandits, like their AI to spawn less frequently, and may change these values to 900 and 1200, for example, so that they spawn every 15 to 20 minutes instead. DZAI underscore despawn wait simply defines how long AI spawns can exist before the game detects that no real players are in the area and despawns them. And finally, the DZAI underscore respawn limit values allow admins to set a maximum number of respawns for certain levels of AI bandits. So, for example, if instead of infinitely respawning level 3 bandits, you would rather have only 10 groups spawn and then, after they're all killed, stop respawning more, then set the DZAI underscore respawn limit 3 to 10. Most servers will keep respawn limits at infinite and simply adjust the general difficulty by changing the respawn timers that we mentioned earlier. The next section configures the DZAI dynamic spawns. In contrast to the static AI spawns, these dynamic AI spawns appear wherever there are players, and thus may appear anywhere and are not tied to specific cities or other locations. You can disable dynamic AI spawns here with a DZAI underscore dyn AI spawn setting if you wish, but most servers like them because they're a great feature that keeps players on their toes. Dynamic AI spawn timing is much different than static AI spawn timing. Instead of a maximum and minimum time value, Dynamic AI begins with a 0% possibility of spawning, but then this chance of spawning increases as time goes on. You adjust this through the DZAI underscore max spawn time value, which defaults to 1800 seconds, or 30 minutes. This means that over the next 30 minutes, the chances of Dynamic AI spawning for a player slowly increases, from the 0% at the start, to its maximum chances at the end of those 30 minutes. So, decreasing this value will make dynamic AI spawns more frequent, because they will reach their maximum chance to spawn more quickly. And increasing this value will make them less frequent, because it'll take longer for them to reach their maximum chance to spawn. However, it does mean that a player can still get super unlucky and have two spawns within minutes of one another, no matter how small or large this value is set. Likewise, a player can get super lucky and not have a dynamic spawn appear for hours, both of these scenarios are extremely unlikely though, but they are possible. Now there's no way in the config file to change that dynamic AI maximum spawn chance, nor in fact is there any way to know what the maximum chance actually is, 
But changing this DZAI underscore max spawn time value has a very sizable effect. The recommendation is to set it as low as 1200 or 20 minutes for more frequent spawns and a more challenging server, or as high as 2700 or 45 minutes for a safer server with fewer spawns. This next value, DZAI underscore keep max spawn time, defines how long this maximum chance is maintained if the player reaches it but still is lucky enough not to spawn any dynamic AI. Keeping it at around its default of 1800 works pretty well for most any server. DZAI underscore hunting chance defines the chances of a dynamic AI group to start actively hunting down the player right away, versus just patrolling the area. The default 50% chance may seem kinda high at first, but remember that dynamic AI don't spawn right on top of the player. They may spawn some distance away, and then they may not even start patrolling towards the player, or the player may not start getting any closer to them. So setting this value too low may result in dynamic AI spawning often, but never being noticed because they and the players simply never see one another. Of course, set it too high, and it gets a bit unrealistic and silly as well, as if some unknown assassination organization with unlimited manpower were constantly trying to hunt your players down. So the default of 0.50, or 50%, is actually rather reasonable, but adjust it to your tastes and how difficult you wish your server to be. DZAI underscore heli reinforced chance is the chance that any available AI helicopter patrol will come to the aid of a dynamic AI group. This will happen only if an AI helicopter patrol actually exists and is available, of course, but we'll discuss those later on in this tutorial. DZAI underscore dine area blacklist is a list of markers where dynamic AI will not spawn for players in the area, but those are beyond the scope of this tutorial. DZAI underscore dine despawn wait is the time before a dynamic AI despawns when it detects that no players are in the area. DZAI underscore fresh spawn safe area enables a safe zone around new player spawn locations so that newly spawned players will be much less likely to be in danger from dynamic AI. Now we get to the second most common reason why admins want to customize their DZAI settings, and that's vehicle patrols. For some reason, the default setting is to disable all vehicle patrols, or more accurately, to set the number of patrols to zero. So here's how we enable them. For air patrols, simply change the DZAI underscore max heli patrols to a number above its default of zero. Of course, having too many can affect the performance of your server, and it can also get a bit crazy with several helis all attacking at once. So most servers tend to keep between one and four of these, depending upon their taste, overall difficulty, and the size of their map. How quickly they respawn after they are disabled or destroyed is defined by the DZAI underscore respawn T min A and DZAI underscore respawn T max A in seconds. Just like with the static AI spawns, increase these numbers if you don't want killed helis to be so quickly replaced. Most admins seem to believe that having lots of helis that get replaced really often can really kill the setting and change things from a zombie survival game and turn it into yet another open PvP war zone. The DZAI underscore heli list defines which helicopters may be used in banded heli patrols. The UH1H underscore DZ Huey is listed by default, but you may add others as long as you know their class names. The number after each is the maximum number of that heli type to spawn at once. So note that if you wanted more than one heli patrol to be active, then you'll want to make sure that there are enough helis and types available. DZAI underscore heli unit level defines the difficulty level of the heli pilot and crew. Presumably any bandit group good enough to not only secure a working heli, but to also take it out on regular patrols, will have a decent skill and gear level, so most servers just keep this at the default level of 3. DZAI underscore heli gunner units defines the maximum number of gunners in each heli, assuming there are enough gunner positions available. The comments say that the default is 2, though actually it defaults to 3. No heli that I can think of has more than three gunner positions, so I just keep it as three myself. The DZAI underscore air weapons defines pairs of heli classes and weapon classes for those times you wish to use unarmed helis and patrols so that you can define weapons that they'll use instead of them just flying around unarmed. We won't go into any more detail than that in this tutorial. The super easy method which many servers use is to just set one to three patrols and then make them all Hueys, so that they don't have to deal with the rest, and then just don't touch this section at all. And now for the ground vehicle patrols. DZAI underscore max land patrols defines how many ground vehicle AI patrols exist, and just like the air patrols, it defaults to zero, so change this to a higher number to enable them. 
And just like air patrols, having too many can get a bit crazy, unrealistic, and may drop server performance if it gets too high. But go with however many suits you or your server. The time to respawn after they're disabled or destroyed is defined by DZAI underscore respawn T min L and DZAI underscore respawn T max L in seconds, with a default value of between 10 and 15 minutes. The DZAI underscore V list defines which vehicles may be used in AI Banta patrols, and you may add more if you know what the vehicle's class names are. As with the heli patrols, the number after the vehicle class is the maximum number of that vehicle type that may spawn simultaneously. DZAI underscore V unit level defines the difficulty level of vehicle units. Some like to keep it at 3, but others like to drop it down to 2 so that they aren't so hardcore as heli patrols, but they're still challenging. DZAI underscore V gunner units allows up to this many gunner positions on an AI vehicle patrol, assuming that many positions are available on the vehicle. The comments say that the default is 1, but it's really a default of 2, and I found that 2 works just fine. DZAI underscore V cargo units defines the maximum number of cargo positions, or what most people would call just passengers, for AI ground vehicle bandit patrols. This last setting, DZAI underscore waypoint blacklist, is a list of waypoints that AI vehicles, both air and ground, will avoid during their patrols. As before, setting up waypoints for their use in DZAI customization is beyond the scope of this video. Okay, that's about all we'll cover for this video tutorial, and that's pretty much all of the basic customization options that most servers are really concerned about. Don't forget to click on the Save button at the very top to save all your changes, and make sure that it says that the changes were saved. And then, don't forget to head back out to your TC Admin Control Panel and click on the Create PBO button as well to package it all up again. There are quite a number of other, more detailed options that you can also modify, but they start to get pretty advanced and will take a whole nother video to explain them all in detail. But, if you guys really want to hear about more advanced DZAI customization, then just let me know in the GTX Gaming forum thread for this video, or in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. Please don't hesitate to like or subscribe if you feel so inclined, and I hope that this video was helpful to you. And as always, good luck, have fun, and watch your back.